For nine bright and sunny days in the early spring, Drs. Julia and Richard Roberts and 21 others, both students and adults, crisscrossed the breathtaking countryside of northern France, exploring Paris and Cannes and sampling French art, food, culture, and fashion as they went. The stunning Gothic cathedral of Mont Saint-Michel, perched on a rocky tidal island off the coast of Normandy, was an early stop for the group. Travelers took in Mont Saint-Michel's architecture and history on a special guided tour that covered the eerie basement crypts, the glorious balconies overlooking the sea, and everything in between. Travelers strolled through the one-street village leading up to the cathedral, purchasing souvenirs and sampling warm strawberry crepes. The group also stopped at the American Cemetery above Omaha Beach, where the D-Day invasion took place. Walking among the white headstones, travelers were quiet and reflective, many deeply moved to be in a place of such historical significance. Travelers then set their sights on Paris, stopping first at the Musée d'Orsay. Formerly a railway station, the Orsay is now home to an extensive collection of Impressionist masterpieces, including works by Monet and Degas. Later, travelers made an evening visit to the famous Louvre Museum. The group also explored Monet's charming home at Giverny and admired the blossoming spring flowers and the artist's famous lily pond. Afterwards, travelers visited the Musée de l'Orangerie, a museum designed specifically for the permanent display of Monet's water lily murals. During a stop at the Palace at Versailles, Travelers wandered the extensive grounds and learned about the history of the French monarchy. The group also visited the famous Chartres Cathedral, home to one of the most complete collections of dazzling medieval stained glass windows in the entire world. And on their final night in Paris, travelers paid an evening visit to the Eiffel Tower to see it glitter with thousands of tiny lights. Since 1987, the center has offered honor students and interested adults the opportunity to experience new cultures and international travel. Each year, 20-some individuals travel abroad with the center's travel study program to a selected city of cultural and historical significance and spend a week immersed in the culture and language of that country. Challenging and exciting, the travel study program is designed to further enrich the lives and minds of participants while fostering cultural awareness and appreciation. Past groups have traveled to China, Italy, and England. Next year, the center is traveling to London. For more information on the Travel Study Program, contact the center at 270-745-6323.